Let's go into the second attempt with the Crestral 8 <coughs> and hope that this time around we will beat the flagship. I mean, um, with FTL on hard it is always a question do we survive the first sectors? And then, then the second question is do we... Uh, um, can we stay clear of the total of the murder ships that totally destroy you? And the third question is will we beat the flagship? And the fourth question is, is the first sector uh, properly shaped so that we can actually accept that? Let's have a look. Oh, look at this. The exit here. It connects even up. That's even better. And we have some nebulas in here. We definitely take this. Thank you, FTL. That's a good start. That's a good start. The last time G-Pudding was in Jordi's crew, he died in the fire. Nulani asks, uh, says the question is who will die first? Peoples, please, I will bring all of you to the flagship. From then on, I can't guarantee anything. Bono Matt says uh, my uh, usual death is by suffocation, otherwise, I get eaten by spiders. Donnie Jones and another question is will it blend? That is the question. Hmm, will it blend? No, I don't think so. Actually, guys, um, let me know if the volume levels are okay. Game the the ratio of game sounds to uh, voice volume. You know, I am having the boy uh, the mic once again farther away from me because I got back into my habit of shouting into the mic with uh, all my energy, and uh, that's turns out that's not too good for audio quality. So. Let's do our first jumps into the nebulas. I like that. And I'm pretty sure there will be an iron storm between them. Okay, they want missiles and give me drone parts. Um, usually that trade is pretty good. But, 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 not now. Not at the start. We need our missiles that we have in case we need the Artemis to help us out, you know. So no, I can't take it. It's not what I need right now. It's not what I need right now. Sorry, I ignore that trade and I change my weapons order here so that if a weapon systems go offline, the Artemis is the first to do that. Oh, actually assign people G pudding. Uh, do you want to be in engineering as again? I guess you will. I guess you do want that and Jordi will pilot again and bon Bonomat is at the weapon system at the moment. Sounds good to me. If you have any other uh, wishes for your crew member, let me know in chat. Sound is fine, says Questy X. Saying thank you, Dark Daedalus 2, for the feedback. Ryan, ben Wild says Iron Storm kind of reminds me of old CNC Tiberian Sundays. Haha, <laughs> that was a cool game. Shall we take this one location with us? No, no. I want to just be in the nebula here. Aha! What did I tell you guys? Iron Storm! You jump into the middle of a plasma storm! Multiple recently incapacitated, incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. So there is a potential of losing a crew member here. <laughs> and I'm going to do it guys, I'm going to do it. Manually search the wreckage for survivors and equipment! Oh, I got... My heart got uh, hurt, but we have all our crew. Thankfully, despite your caution, the lack of detection equipment allows the breeze to crash into your ship, damaging the hull. You salvage what you can and prepare to jump before anything worse happens. So, okay, we got damaged for four damage. It's fine. But we found nine scraps, that is uh, average in the first sector. But eight missiles and four fuel! That is fantastic! So, I'm going away from this uh, point of interest with a smile. Saying, hey, that's good. But let's uh, get on with it because uh, the oxygen is dropping because of the iron storm. Let's see if there is another iron storm ahead of us. Oh, nope. No iron storm. Nice. So, a pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. So how am I actually say discerning that this is a pirate? Do they have pirates written in uh, big letters? <laughs> on their on their ship or something. 
Now, Deep Pudding says, it's the trait you deserve, but not the one you need right now. That's always like, always like this. Hello, Angamore, thank you for joining us. You say, still Castle A, Castle A, eh? Hi, Chat Joy. Yes, Angamoth. Well, uh, this is the f second try with the Castle A, the second try. So, with the first try, we got to the flagship and it destroyed us on stage two. Uh, bon, Ma bon Matt says, man, I'm glad I have a job that I can listen to stream most of the time while working. Yeah, I admire you. Good man, Bon, bon Matt. Angamos says, worth it. Ah, Japan son, okay. Uh, Jordy Jones, at least it's fantastic according to the posters. Uh, what's fantastic? I don't understand. They are charging fans for stick. They are polite and fly skulls and crossbones? I don't think so, dude. I think that is a... A myth. Let's ask the myth busters. The power of your weapons... Uh, you power up your weapons and move in to engage. So they have a big ass beam. I don't like that. I don't have shields up. Where's my oxygen? Where's my evade? Well, at least I had my weapons charging from the start. That's good. But that one level of <clears throat> shield won't be there when that uh, beam is about to shoot, isn't it? Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, the iron weapon is gone. That's good. Oh no! Look at this! The beam was fired before my shields uh, could get back up. Uh, that is actually a pretty bad moment here right now. A very bad moment. We need don't need evasion yet. We need our shields repaired. That is imperative. Oh, look at this. There's a breach in there also. Oh my goodness. Let's bring that beam down. Oh, thank goodness. Am I repairing the shields yet? No, we are still repairing the breach. I think the breach is repaired now. Thank you. Let's power up Med Bay. Shoot again. That was a nasty start. A nasty start. G Pudding, you are the man of the hour repairing everything here. Oh, and they want to get away. The very first ship tries to get away. Really? Really? Alrighty. Repair more shields. More of the shields. The burst laser is ready. Thankfully, the FTL is delayed. I think there is only one crew member there and they are repairing the weapons. So they are not manning piloting and that's why they their FTL drive is delayed. Wow! What what the what the F is going on? I'm playing on hard, right? You guys saw that at the start. I'm playing on hard. 20 scraps in the first sector and two missiles on top of that with together with three fuel? This ship was carrying military supplies. You pick up anything that looks salvageable from the debris. Uh, I think this is uh, meant as a positive outcome or something, like a super positive outcome to this event or something. I don't know. 20 scraps in the first sector, my goodness. Alright, the deep pudding, you finish your maintenance of the shield bay, so to speak. Charlie Jones, our team is timing. I could have used missiles. Oh, actually, I'm at 20 missiles. I don't need to save on them. I'm, I'm a sucker for saving on my resources at the start, but I shouldn't, right? You guys are correct. <laughs> TX says you can tell they are pirates because of all the ARRRRR grunts in the radio channel. <laughs> Hello, Vivix! Thank you for joining us! Yeah, it didn't destroy us, Angamoth, that's true. It suffocated us. It slowly and deliberately suffocated you too. Yeah. Shoot the rockets, it's cheap pudding. The, uh, the burst laser was good enough in this instance. Slugs tend to be rich, says Angamoth. MVP, G pudding, saved the day. Yep, and I hope you will do that more than just once so we are at 29 scraps right now and we traversed the whole nebula we want to get to this nebula and then maybe mm, no okay let's go down here first check this location out 
A rebel ship is guarding this beacon, you order a pursuit course and prepare to scratch up one more. Oh, I'm keeping score of my kills at the outside on the outside of my ship or something. Interesting. Wait, let me let me get this let me make this a little better here. My mic is a little bit in the way of my keyboard. <coughs> That's not good. So Ooh, they timed up their uh, their weapons. Well done. Okay, G pudding. We okay. No, this time we need bonomats to repair the shields. Their weapons are down, so it's cool. It's cool, as long as they are down. And I'm not sure. Uh, notice that I'm not shooting my uh, missiles or uh, uh, my burst laser at their weapon system right now. Because additional damage to a totally destroyed weapon system does nothing, so I just wait until they have it partly di dis uh, repaired so that I can completely disable it again. The repairs to shields are done. Go back to the weapon systems, Bonomats. Thank you for your special effort there. And I think I want to squeeze in and Wally going into their piloting so that they don't get a better idea of, you know, maybe jumping away. Okay, they're not good at repairing, I feel. So let's go after... Oh, there you go. Uh, you have clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. They give us two fuel and seven scraps and a drone part. Uh, usually, uh, bribes are not that great if you don't get an augmentation with it. But, uh, yeah. I don't expect to get more if I, uh, if actually, if I uh, destroy this. And I value drone parts high. Because I always aim to get a, a defense one drone going <coughs> at some point. Nah, let's destroy them and see what happens. Right? That's what you guys want to see. Fire rocket says G pudding. <laughs> Not necessary. Not necessary. Ta da! The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. 12, one missile, and one fuel. Okay, we got at least five more. Um, five more scraps out of this. But no drone part. Hey, Grivik says, I've been playing Age of Wonder 3 and suddenly it was light outside. Ah, that's great when the game can do that to you. It's awesome. Miss Lithert, hello, thank you for joining us. You say, and here you go again with your spaceship. Yes, I do. Until I win. Never give up, never surrender. The motto of the wonderful Angry Joe show. Alright, everything seems in order. Oh, let's save the positions of our crew. Let's jump. Oh, and distress signal. Can I go back up? No. Okay, I will go to the distress signal, then move here, and then find my way to the exit. That's our path through the first sector. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Uh, its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anybody is anyone is on board. It's a tarp! But I still hail them. Oh, the vessel is relieved to hear from you. It's not a tarp. Okay, false alarm everyone. Relax. They are running low on supplies, they suggest a trade. Two missiles for two drone parts, so that, uh, again? That's almost the same trade, a little worse uh, than what I got at the start. But seeing that I now have like 20 missiles, I'll, I'll make that trade now, because now I can afford it. Although it's not the best of trades and for a distress signal, this is a really disappointing outcome. Okay, there's a store, but I don't need a store right now. Oh, come on game. Come on. And I visited this point of interest already, but I need to go there or there to, go to, the, to get to the rest of this uh, <coughs> star system, this sector. Yeah, a store is basically an empty jump for me. Hello, Delvin Zero!
And they are out of fuel and ask for missiles. That doesn't make sense. You pay too much attention, TX. You pay too much attention. <laughs> okay, we have, I mean, we have an empty jump in front of us regardless of where I go. So let's go to the shop then, right? Zolt and shield bypass, FTL, German hacking, clone bay, drone control. <clears throat> Defense one. It's fine, it's nothing that I want to buy here. Maybe I want to repair myself a little bit. That's all I do, because you know, the, the real objective here is to get to shield level 2. So I will repair this, leave me at 35 scraps, and jump away. To, toward... Uh, um, to the nebula! Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship again! That is the same in event! And this time it's a trap! See? As you held the refugee ship, a slug ship jumps into the system! It was hunting the refugee ship for sport, and now they found you instead. Ah, I'm reminded of Predator, the movie. Get to the chopper. Okay, let's see if they sync up too. First laser, do your job. Again, ah, they always hit me in the shields. I actually should have used my missile here to avoid that one shot. That was dumb. Oh, they missed. Nice. Nice. Okay, we are, we are golden. We are golden. And once again, G Pudding, MVP, repairing the shields. <coughs> bam, bam. All the weapon, shipping, uh, weapon systems offline. Not anymore. Pew pew pew. Pam pam. Now they are again. And th thank you for not trying to jump away. But you are not a rebel ship, right? So that's fine. You're a slug ship. Yeah. Bam. So the slug ship breaks apart and you salvage what you can. 13 scraps. One uh, drone part. Yeah, and the fuel. And we can contact the refugee ship now. Double possible. Uh, uh, double reward, guys! Double possible double reward! Double reward! The refugee ship claims the slugs have been hounding them since they left their home world. As a gesture of goodwill, and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer up what supplies they can spare. Alright, another 10 scrap! So I, I, I'm happy for all double dig digit rewards here in Sector 1. That is awesome in every drone part that I can get. So yeah, this, this was an awesome reward. Hello, Mr. Tufnell! Thank you for joining us, and hello, old Dodger! Actually, reading these names and all you wonderful people in chat, uh, I want to say, uh, give a special thank you to everyone who retweets me and favors my tweets. Uh, you guys are awesome, you're helping me out a lot. Um, please continue to do so. I appreciate it, thank you. Um, yeah, so that was a big win for me, we are... Rapidly closing in on buying us the next levels of shields But we need a little more to power this next level too, so uh, Patience patience. Let's jump into the nebula It is not an iron storm an iron storm you cycle through white band com channels as soon as you arrive nothing but static <laughs> That's how I Imagine static. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, let's figure out these locations quick and uh, go into the center location here to see uh, if there is any more distress signal, any more shops. You discover a nearby planet speckled with settlements, although none respond to your hails. Another empty jump. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, all available locations here are neither, not a shop. Not a distress signal, nothing. Hmm. 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 Can I make these couple of jumps? Actually, I want to know what this is. But this would give. No, that would. Hmm. Get me to the exit in an, an inopportune moment. <clears throat> so, how many jumps are, is this? One, two, three, four. Five. I can do five jumps. Yeah. So let's jump there. 
Hey! So after two empty jumps, we now find three stuff. An abandoned space station circles a lonely planet. A quick check yields schematics for a drone. You bring it aboard the ship. An anti comet drone, not that great, but I can sell it. I can sell it for scraps. Actually, did you guys see yesterday Interstellaria with, uh, Mike, with the wonderful Mike Smith, aka Screaming Joypad? I was a drone. I was a drone. Jordy Jones was a drone during his playthrough. Just saying. <laughs> Old Dodger says, I played FTL today at normal and I get so ripped off. Well, Old Dodger, that's FTL for you. That's FTL to you. I think you, you have to have a, a small masoch masochistic... Um, Streak if you want to play FTL and enjoy it So many flies coming in here. They're flying away from this rain outside Don't bring the vet in <sighs> No, wait, no that doesn't work. Maybe this works. Go away. Wait, wait that worked Was sitting inside my window <clears throat> All right you receive a hail from a station orbiting a nearby planet captain. We are Federation terraforming team C12 and are in need of assistance. Do you have some time? Of course, you offer your assistance. Thank you. We need to scan this planet for life before we can begin terraforming. But our sensors can't get the necessary power to scan through this atmosphere. We've got a schedule to keep. Any chance you can help? Well, since our sensors are at level 1 and I don't have like long range scanners or something like that, I doubt I can, but I can still attempt to, right? So attempt to scan the planet. It seems your sensors are no more powerful than the terraformers. You apologize and continue on your way. Ah, oh, not even a consolation prize. Bummer. Uh, Angamos says, whenever you come back to FTL, do a run or two on easy to remember the ropes. Scanning for life, sis. G putting. Yeah, that's actually what we did. But we didn't found. It didn't find any. Alrighty. That was a bummer. I'm not getting scraps here. I need scraps for my shields. Come on, dudes. Ow! Oh! Zoltan shield, iron weapon, uh, or a stunner, and the big ass beam. Oh my goodness. No, I will not surrender anybody. Although we are against overwhelming odds, we will not hand over. I mean, maybe D pudding, we don't need him anyway. No! No! We, I will never surrender one of my crew to slavers. Evil, evil slaver. Yeah, well, yeah, this time around we definitely will use uh, the Artemis. Because this is going to hurt us big. And I hope they won't hit the, uh, the weapons. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I don't want to. It, it, it'll hurt. It'll hurt. I know it will. Oh, God. They hit the weapons. Okay. We are on it, though. We are on it. Yes! The big ass beam is down! The beam is down! Nice one! We won't need our missiles anymore, I feel. Yes! Nice! We got this. But we got a few points of damage in. Oh, look at this! We surrender! Take one of our slaves as tri t tribute! Tribute! If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, we are only at three people. Our crew is only three big. And although I am longing for the second level of shields, <coughs> I take this crew. I take this crew. So, welcome aboard, Lang. Anybody in chat who wants to join, let me know in chat right now so that we can rename this Mantis guy. Let me show you what uh, Mantises can do. They inflict 1.5 uh, times the damage in combat. They move at 1.2 times the speed and their repair speed is half because they repair with their little fangs. And uh, that's not very helpful in terms of repair. Power up the rockets is she putting. No, I said I don't need any more missiles, so that's why I didn't. Power up the war. G pulling, he did. The weapons got hit. I'll join this, Mr. Tufnel. Then welcome aboard, Mr. Mr. Warrior Tufnel. 
You replace Nick Lang. Awesome name, by the way. And an awesome movie, if you guys know where this was from. Um, Mr. Tufnell. And it doesn't even get abbreviated. Congratulations, you joined the SS second try. And you shall man the shields for now. Actually, let me let me have a second look at this real quick. Hmm. So the thing is, in my <clears throat> uh, in my opinion, the guy on shields is the one that can take care of other stuff, the easiest. So I actually want to use Bon Math for that. So we will shit. We will switch the. Um, locations of these two so congratulations mr. Tufnell according to your nature you are now handling weapons and Bon Matt you are handling shields now save this and let's get more scraps shall we now old dodger says I hope you have a red shirt on mr. Tufnell oh guys all is fine although we are at the Sun now we jumped right into right next to the Sun Mr. Tuffin said sorry I had a work call and had you on mute. Cool, says Mr. Tuffin. Hey, don't don't apologize. I mean, I appreciate that you are si thinking simply that you are around. Brightens my day. So, you arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerously close to a star. An automated rebel ship, impervious to the heat, moves in to engage. Okay, they don't care for the... Oh, they have a combat drone. Mmm. I think I w I'm going to going to be needing my missile here. G pudding, I will fire a rocket now. I will fire a rocket now. And I will fire it here. Oh no, not the doors. Although the doors are pretty useful usually. Because um, fire will break out pretty soon <clears throat> in my ship because of the sun. I wait with the second missile um, when I got the piloting down so that it, it hits for sure. There you go. Okay, doors are repaired. Thank you, Bonomat. So, uh, just in time for us to vent the location where the fire break, uh, bro uh, broke out. Right. And there you go, that was this little bugger. So I got one missile, uh, so I got it back. Okay, I used two. One drone part and 13 scraps, nice! Okay, we will uh, load up on oxygen. As long as uh, we can, before the next volley of fire comes in from the sun. Before that, we will make sure we jump away. Like, right? Now, oh, we can only jump to the exit. Okay, I timed that wrong. Bummer. I could have made one more jump, I guess. <clears throat> I, but I wanted to be safe, right? And I have a feeling there is an uh, event here. See? Oh, I can buy more. And I don't want to buy crew. You find a space station set up for travelers. Browsing through its listings, you find a tavern full of mercenaries for hire. You look for a potential crew member. So I can buy boring humans. So, f But she's female, so let's buy her, right? Buy her services. Or let's buy more, or let's buy, don't buy anybody because, yeah, don't hire anyone. Because uh, shields, you know? Oh! No! That was the wrong... Yeah. I opened the doors to space. Fine! Ah. So let's get oxygen back up and... I'm actually considering buying my shields now. Yeah, I'm going to buy the shields now in one level of energy. And if we need that second level of shields, we can always use that energy in the oxygen. Haji <laughs> putting already buying females. It was just, it was just, you know, a joke, a joke. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, G pudding. No buyings of females here. Just hiring, just hiring. Okay. 
Actually, le let's first have a look at that next sector. Hurts a little bit that uh, I have to jump out of sector one prematurely. <coughs> okay, let's have a look. Rock control, civilian sector, nebula, nebula, nebula. This, yeah, I think this is a good... Wait, we could actually do this. Civilian, nebula, civilian, nebula, 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 or civilian, and then the last stand. That looks good, so let's go to the civilian sector. Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels catch you. Let's have a look. Ah, nice. We have um, a few nebula locations here. Exit is reasonably far to the left, uh, to the right. Nice. <coughs> yeah, so let's buy this and this, as I said. And if we need that second level, we can always take it from oxygen. Nah, Chris says uh, at uh, uh, or to Mr. Tufnell. Next time, tell them to call back when Jordy is done. <laughs> well, that could be a long time, though. This is not a dead end, so this is actually a location I could jump to if I wanted to. This is this one is though. So I want to go there and then here. Let's do this. Oh, they have a missile system. That is unfortunate. That will hurt us. That'll hurt us. And they want to get away. And they have an anti-drone thing. Damn it! Yeah, yeah. Missile is coming in two seconds before I can shoot mine. Okay, okay. I want okay okay I want to make it uh, I want to do it smartly so I will shoot at piloting first with my burst laser and when piloting goes down hope what it hopefully does then I can shoot our team is whatever at whatever I want wherever I want it to and destroy the, the system with it because it hits um, for sure because the piloting is down also piloting needed to go down because they are trying to get away oh they did did you see how fast they repaired that? I think there's an MG on there. Oh shit. No, I missed with every everything. Seriously. FTL, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Ah. Okay, what are they hitting? My weapons? Oh, fire first. Fire, fire, fire. Okay, they are not going for the weapons. Nice. <clears throat> This is ridiculous, how fast they repair. I actually want to know, I want to know. Ah, that was too quick, I couldn't see. There was an NG on there. Their ship breaks apart and you are relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. So two fuel, one missile and 17 scraps. So we are in the yellow. We are down to 18 hit points. Let me have a look, no shop ahead, so we can easily buy that second level of shield now, thank you. Or the energy for it, rather. Everyone back to their stations, oxygen is 100, nice! <laughs> Mr. Tufnell says when I work from home, they think I'm just sitting playing games anyway. Well, I'll do that for you, so you can always have perfect deniability, you know. <coughs> Mr. Tufnell. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I get a blue option, but I think this blue option for once is useless. You come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately saying, Greetings, our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded the system. Do you have any extra explosives? So usually this is an awesome event for if you don't, you know, deploy uh, or utilize a missile system of your own so because then you can make use of your missile stock <sighs> but this time around I need my missiles I want to transition into something else that doesn't use missile I give them five I give them five and they upgraded my reactor for that fine I'll take it 
not too happy about that. Okay, there is a store coming in. How do how are we going to handle this? I want to go here, 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 here. Is that possible? One, two, three, four, five. That should do it. Do it! Okay, a missile shoots across your bow. When you when your jump completes, your scans quickly reveal a ship with the pirate markings. There you go, pirate markings again. Ah, yeah, here here you, it is. Uh, a skull of a squid and the crossbones. This is the pirate marking. Pursuing an unknown vessel, the pirate hails you. Darn it! We weren't expecting company. Stay out of this, and you could profit. So that I I no, I'm not impressed. Attack the pirate. And they can't ha Oh my goodness, guys, I think we got our uh, training opportunity here. Let me have a look. If this shoots once, yeah, it only shoots once. So, yeah. So, training, what is it? Why am I saying this? Um, your uh, people's on your stations, you know, like uh, weapon system, shields, engines, and piloting. All these four systems, people when people are stationed at them, uh, they actually get skills in them. Like, let's have a look at Mr. Tuffle who just joined us. He's manning the weapon system, and he's having uh, a skill level of 12 of 65. So if um, our weapon system discharges 65 times, <coughs> Mr. Tafna levels up. This time we are not shooting, we are just receiving damage from this laser over here. And let's have a look at bon Bono Maps. Bono Matt is stationing the shield system. He has a 9 of 50 in his skill level. And every time that laser hits the shields, that goes up by 1. There you go, now it is 10 of 50. And once we get to 50, once this happens 50 times, he will level up and the shield recharge rate doubles. Oh no, uh, the bonus to shield recharge rate, that is important. The bonus to uh, the shield's recharge rate doubles. So it will be 20% faster. So usually I wouldn't uh, make you sit through this, but um, in FTL you have to take all opportunities to train your crew and get some extra <coughs> percentages out of that. Mainly you do this because of the evasion, right? That means we have two stations that govern evasion. We have piloting and we have engineering. And both of them contribute to um, the total evade rate. And we have here Jordi as pilot, he is at 4 out of 13, and every time we dodge a shot, uh, this increases. The same for G putting down in engineering, he's also at 4 of 13, and the same rules apply here. Every time we dodge a shot, this increases. As you saw here, we are now at 5 out of 13, and when we get to 13, um, we get two more evasion so if this happens um, simultaneously for engineering and piloting we get four percent more evasion uh, out of this so I'll say I will wait for I will wait here not uh, when not until everyone is at level two that would be I would do that if I were on my own but I will wait for level one for uh, piloting and uh, engineering to get to level one. Once this happens, we will continue. We will finish him off um, and find some else, uh, another ship to train on because we have level two shields. So um, this could be faster if that were a ship that does two damage, right? That would be a better opportunity to train than this one. TX says nice skill farming opportunity. Yes, G Pudding says Jordi Jones, just make a break and let it run. Nah, it's too early for a break. I I'll sit through you with you guys here. I'm making a show. And, uh... I can talk for uh, one or two minutes without playing, no problem. We can talk about um, FTL. 
Or have you guys... What did you guys think of the Unreal Tournament multiplayer? I haven't really had a chat with viewers. Did you see it? What, what uh, Did you see it the whole time? Uh, what was... What Were there any hilarious moments that you uh, think back to uh, and smile? Or... What are your opinions? Dr. Jones, have you seen the new Batman vs. Superman trailer? Um, yes. And I think I am very... How do I put it? I'm very nervous that they... Because I, don't, I cannot really say from the trailer if they get the new Joker right or not. I mean, no one can... Uh, no one can be as good as Ledger. But from this trailer you can't really tell. Can't really tell is Leto if, if if Leto is doing his job good or not. Anxious, yes, thank you, Angermoth. TX you still have to watch the what yeah, I actually too. Uh, I didn't even know if uh, I'm waiting for the YouTube thing. Or when, when Chris the other Chris uh, puts it up, then uh, I will download this. Joker is in Suicide Squad. Oh yeah, yes, yes, she put in Suicide Squad. It, uh, oh yeah, of course, you were talking uh, Batman Superman. Um, yeah, about that uh, Batman Superman trailer, um, I think they, you know, cut it together so that it looks like Superman's shooting his heat eyes at, at Batman. But I don't think that is actually a thing. I don't think that is actually the right timeline there, and I don't think that is really happening. I have to say one thing about that trailer though. When they first announced that um, uh, um, um, Ben Affleck is playing B Batman, I was laughing hard. But after I saw that trailer, not so much anymore. I was totally convinced. I was totally convinced. Ben Affleck, cool dude. And uh, I bought his Batman. And that is saying much because I loved um, um, I loved the Dark Dark Knight uh, trilogy a lot. So that was uh, the, these were big shoes to fill for Ben Affleck, and I think he did. He did it great in his scenes. So wait, why did I go away here? Come on. Okay, we need two more dodges and then we will be on our way. Christian Bale, yes, he was awesome. Uh, I haven't seen anything about X-Men Apocalypse. I'm sorry, I can't talk, you, talk to you about this. Ben Wilde says to bad Arkham Knight is still unfixed on PC. Yeah, I uh, did. You hear that it won't uh, the PC version won't be coming out again until September. Yep, that's a thing, Ben Wild. It's funny how Daredevil becomes Batman. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Okay, something happened. Yep, my evasion dudes leveled up, so we can uh, now. Let me have quickly check Bon Mats. On Matt is seven uh, hits away from level one shields, or six rather. But that's fine. Let's uh, continue our play here now. Um, I'm not going to waste any missiles, so let's just shoot them. Hmm. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to put Bon Matt on not on doors, on sensors. So there you go. Let me have a look. Hmm. Can we keep O2 down? So that they suffocate. Oh yeah, let them repair O2, that's awesome. <laughs> that's pretty good that the Mantis is repairing um, the, the O2 station. Because they have a half... Repair time, you know. Why don't why don't we do it like this? Yeah, that's better. Mm. 
So this uh, this way, Bonmar can still collect um, skills on shields. Yeah, the oxygen is slowly draining. I'll, I'll repay. That's my revenge, FTL. Suffocating your crews. Slowly but surely. And they don't have med bay. It might work. It might work. The problem is I heard it for two if all my lasers hit. So uh, it might still explode before the oxygen is gone. Oh, now they want to get away. No, you can't do this. I want to suffocate you. Come on. Damn it. What? Oh, look at that drive. Ooh. Okay, that suffocating is clearly not working. But look at this. The jump is imminent. So if they manage to repair uh, piloting before I get another uh, 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 volley off, they are gone. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay, I think I'm hard pressed to accept that bribe. Oh no, actually there is there's potential double reward coming in. I can't do this. Okay, I'm not accepting your bribe. FTL delayed, and I will shoot my missile here. To seal the deal, because there is potential double reward. So I have to take the double reward. The pirate explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. You go to examine the ship you have you just saved. So these scraps are actually making up for the bribe that I just uh, did not take although they are not making up eight missiles so let's hope the double reward is a good one the second reward you go to examine the ship you just saved thank you for the eight I am an arms dealer that usually only works with rebels but considering the circumstances I'll make an exception oh oh Ta -da! I I can't afford okay oh I can I can sell my anti drone and my Artemis that should be is it enough 36 it's just enough it's just enough I can't believe it oh this is a sign guys this is a sign oh man but I can't use it because I need to buy one more level of weapons oh my goodness but I had to do it, guys! No! Uh, Nulani asks, aren't those two Rockmen, though, that don't need oxygen? Uh, that was a good question. The Rockmen need oxygen. The ones that did not do not need oxygen are the Laniuses, and they look a little different. But that was a good question, Nulani. This will be Fantas Dark Dazzlers 2013. Only with a burst laser, only armed with a burst laser, we shall conquer this or oh, another story. Yeah, 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 we were going for that story actually. But we have two levels of shield, we, we will be fine. Empty! Give me more scraps! Oh no, a Pulsar! Guys! A pulsar and a missile system and an intruder. What the f? What, what are you doing on sensors, uh, Tafna? No. Ah, uh, we are doomed. We are so doomed. Yeah, of course the missile comes in before the pulsar and hits piloting. No, it misses. Okay. It hits piloting! F you! Alrighty. Uh, we need to bring down that missile system. So burst laser. Thank you. Repair piloting everyone. Tafnel, you're doing an admirable job over here. Go back to weapons. 
Everyone back to their stations. So piloting. Uh, the pools are made me lose my shields again, but I make uh, sure that their weapons keep being down. As long as my weapons aren't... Oh shit. It's back up again. We will be hit once. We will be hit once. Except maybe we can uh, dodge it. Maybe. Okay, accept their offer. No, we will not accept surrender. Although the Pulsar can screw us over still, I want to destroy them now. They only have two hull points left. There you go. The ship explodes, leaving my substantial collection of useful scrap materials. 17 scraps, yeah, that was worth it. And a drone part, nice. Is it worth it waiting, no, being here, sticking around here for longer? No. So I will go through that uh, nebula and to the store. I think I can do this. I can make it. Oh man, from, from a pulsar directly into an iron storm. Seriously? And they have their beam weapons up. That's cunning. Okay, so what do we do? What do we do? We keep the burst laser, we take the oxygen, have one level of shield, should be enough for that mini beam. Yeah, that's how I want to do it. Since they're using beams anyway, I don't need this, right? Because beams always hit, I don't need any evasion. But I want to, uh, f you know, fire up my FTL drive, that is why I keep one level of energy in there. Alrighty! Sounds good to me here. Hmm. Why don't we go for the shields? Because if we... Uh-oh. Damn it. Now that the, there is no more energy in the shields, they had enough energy to fire, both of their fire up both of their weapons. Which is not what we want. I can fire at a subsystem, that's a good idea. That won't, you know, interfere with their current power distribution. I like how the power is distributed right now on their ship, so I don't want to uh, trifle with that, so I'm only shooting at subsystems right now. Okay, uh, bon Bono Maps, you leveled up. You are now a level 1 shield officer, nice. So they uh, ramp up their bribe. I'm still not convinced. Actually, it's still, it's again only one, uh, one laser coming our way. I mean inside uh, the iron storm, that's a good thing. I, I'm thinking about training again, but not with just one weapon. That would be... Uh, that would mean too much time. Too much empty time. Um, Mr. Thomas says, I'll grab my rap shirt. Angamo says, tip, you can deactivate the shields before Pulsar hits to avoid... Lotting that system? Ironing that system. But it can hit other things in that case. Oh, I understand, Iron Gamoth. I got it now. That's that's a pretty good tip. Heal Jordi up. Yeah, yes. Now I can. Now I can. Um, the last time I couldn't because I was inside. Um, I was close to the pulsar. I wanted to get away. Thanks for the, for the hint. Appreciate it. So let me have a quick look, we need 35 to buy the next level of weapons and I have 34, of course I do. There's another store. Interesting, that means an empty, one empty jump. Definitely. A mentorship helps you through the storm. These are sacred... Ugh, knock. 
clan hunting grounds. You are prey. Shields up. <laughs> okay. Okay. As long as you have an excuse, right? So we have a transporter in here, so we will send. Yeah, we will send Bon Math to the doors, so we the intruders won't ha won't have an as an easy time as they would have. Okay, they are in here, so let's vent them. I think there is a mantis with them. Yeah, there you go. You go here. First laser is ready. Um, I'm not scared of your weapons. So what I do want is... Um, what do I want? I want to bring out down your com transporter. Yeah. I want to suffocate your dude. Oh, they made it back. Okay, then I will destroy your med bay. Yes, nice. Someone on, on their ship is repairing pretty fast, I have to say. Okay, I went for piloting so that every uh, shot hits. Didn't really work out, they have piloting level 2. So, G Pudding asks, Lol Dirty Johns, why did you send G Pudding to stand in the corner? I will get to that just in a second. First, let's read here. I got 16 scraps, one drone pile, one missile. Okay, nice. And what I did here is the um, the sensors are out because we are inside the nebula, of course. And um, I saw that they tried to get through this door, right? So I deducted, aha, they are in this room here. So let's open the doors to space and suffocate them as long as I can. Then they came in here and because the doors were still open and this was broken open, um, the oxygen would be vented out of the engineering room too. So I went away with G pudding in a, in a room uh, where oxygen will stay, you know, where, where he can breathe, you know, to survive. So I sent him here and all the while the oxygen was vented out of engineering and he made the intruder made his way up to oxygen to life support. And uh, yeah, I waited for him to go b back to his ship, then I closed all the doors and I moved G Pudding in this room to wait uh, to the life support pumping back oxygen back to engineering. That's why G Pudding had to wait here for a sec, so that he doesn't walk into a room where there's no oxygen. That's why G Pudding. I hope that was an elaborate answer that you can live with. So we are at 50 scraps now. And we have a store in front of us. So let's first go to the store before we use any any more scraps on my ship.